Okay, today I'm going to take a look and show you a little bit about EduCreations. And EduCreations is the darkish, navy bluish with the triangles and the multicolored dots. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that and give it a second to load. Yours canvas is going to look a little bit different than mine only because I've created videos and my students have created videos as well. Um, so what you need to do is up here in the top left hand corner where the plus sign is, I'm going to create a new lesson. And when I hit that, um, this is given my main canvas here. And let me explain a couple of things. The microphone here is when I'm going to record something. I can hit the play button here to play it back. These five palettes here are my color options that when I'm clicking on the pen, I also have my eraser so I can make or change um, corrections or erase a mistake that I may have. When I click this button here, um, I have a couple of options. The top, op top three options are available to you on the free account. This one gives us the ability to add text. This gives us the ability to add images from our photo roll. And this one here will take a picture of something from our camera and will automatically insert it into EduCreations. These three options down below you can see here, you have to unlock with the pro version and that's a $99 a year fee that um, you wouldn't want if you would want those there. Um, the next two options, let me click, click out of this here. The next two options are grayed out and they're reason they're grayed out is because those are options, again, available for the paid version, um, the, the pro version. Up above here, you have the plus sign, and when I click on this plus sign, it gives me two options, and both of these are available. You can duplicate the page in ink, and you can duplicate the page. What I really like about the duplicate in the page and the ink is that if I'm creating a math problem, and I want the students to stop the video and solve that particular problem, I can duplicate it and then go on to the next slide and then solve that problem with the correct answer. And maybe I need to, I can do it or show it two different ways. So that's really powerful there. Um, the other option next to the plus ink here is my pad or my different types of paper. So I have white paper, I have line paper, which looks like this. I have graph paper, which looks like this. And my last option is coordinate grid paper, which looks like this. So again, mathematicians, you have all different types of paper. Um, really comes in handy when you're showing coordinate planes or things like that, slope and sequence and, and those types of things. Um, down below here, you can see that this is one of one, so that means that this is one page one of one. If I wanted a second page, I can just simply hit this arrow, or if I had more than one page, sorry, I could hit this arrow and it would go back, go forward, and just like if I had more than one page and I was on page three, I could hit this and go there. Um, to create another page, I'm going to simply hit this and I'm going to duplicate the page. So now you can see that I'm on page two of two with EduCreations. To create something, maybe I want to start before I start recording. So I'm going to create and I click and held down so now I can change my color options there. I'll use purple. Maybe I want to put a bunch of coordinate points here. Please excuse my drawings. I should be using a stylus. And then maybe I want to connect those with a line. And now when I'm ready to record, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit the record button or the microphone. And now I can see that I'm recording because it's counting up. And my voice is recording and I'm talking. And maybe I'm going to talk about putting points down here in this quadrant. And then drawing the line here with my green point to go straight through. And I could ask the students to compare and contrast those two lines. What's similar about them? What's different about them? I could hit this line and come back to page one and maybe I could ask them to do a little something with it. When I'm finished, I can hit pause. And now what happens is I can play this back. Now it's easy to preview your recording. Use the trim tool to fix any mistakes. Okay, so here's my trim tool down here. So I can change some things. I can do some editing, which was not available before. So I can edit this or change this out. I can change the speed of something by clicking this option down here. And I also have the edit option down here where I can trim it. And I can pinch this and pinch this down to maybe right there. And then I can hit trim. Um, do you want your trim? Yep, I want it to trim. So now that my lesson has been trimmed a little bit. And when I'm finished, um, to save this into my EduCreations account, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Sorry. Done. 
I'm going to go ahead and click that back arrow in the top left hand corner and I'm going to save the finished video. If I want to come back to it later, I'm going to save the draft. So I have two options, save draft, maybe I need to go do something or run an errand or um, my prep period's over and I need to come back to it later. I could save that draft, so let me do that for you and show you what that looks like. It's in the draft mode here. So my drafts are up top and with the free version you only get one draft um, per account. So I can only have one draft. I couldn't go ahead and create another one. Um, you can see here upgrade to pro. So I have to finish this one. So I can come here and that back arrow in the top left hand corner I want to go ahead and I want to save the finished video. And when I go ahead and do this there's just one thing that I wish they would change. Um, this published see where it's the check mark is next to private you want to change that to published so that way that other people can see that and you can share that as well so this is going to be called delete me because I'm going to delete this one I can give a description if I wanted to my subject area I have it already defaulted because of my account and I can hit save and now that's rendering and it's putting it in there 